I think it's important to eat local for a lot of reasons. One is you're support supporting your local economy and your local farmers. Two is uh, less food miles traveled, so A, less pollution is created, and um, B, your food has more nutrients because it's not losing nutrients when it's like stored um, for several weeks. And then also, I just like knowing where my food comes from. I like seeing the farmer and knowing that um, the conditions that he worked in were not modern day um, slave conditions. He wasn't sprayed with pesticides while he was working in the field. I also really like the sense of community that you get when you eat local. Being a part of this market um, is really wonderful. We come here and we've made a lot of great friends here. Uh, we feel like we're part of the community. We live on the other side of the park in Grant Park. And uh, it's just a real nice connection with the community in addition to you know all the benefits of supporting local farmers and supporting local food. I also believe that if you buy from a local farmer you're less likely to get food that's contaminated or processed or have um, insecticides and you know just stuff that's not really good for you. Um, you know it's definitely supporting um, local businesses, local farmers, um, you know you're getting the freshest produce, and so pesticide free, um, so you know you're really getting the best quality. Well honestly I just think it's healthier. You can tell when it's fresh and when it's like from a store. So I think there's several, so one is transportation, even if the market, we try and make our markets in mixed communities, mixed income communities, so making sure that um, they are physically accessible uh, to people, but even if it, you're a mile away, walking a mile with um, our full of groceries can be a, a barrier. Also sometimes it's an educational issue, people, they come and they see kohlrabi or turnips and they don't necessarily know what to do it, it's kind of something that our culture is losing how to prepare things like that. Um, people I think are a lot of times used to everyone, not just low income people, people are used to a convenience culture. They want food now and they we've kind of um, lost that value of taking time to prepare a meal together. Also people don't know, like when I talk to people about buying food from farmers, they're like, how do you do that? Tell me, give me the information. I think fear of the price and just lack of knowledge, lack of exposure. Um, other issues, especially with people on a fixed income, is that they need um, to buy all their food in one trip. So they want to just stock up for the month and get everything they need, especially if um, transportation is a barrier. They need to get their toilet paper, their soap, everything in one trip. Um, I guess access to local produce, which I think is, is starting to improve. You know, they do great programs like um, Wholesome Wave. So one of the programs we're most proud of that we have at the market is um, Wholesome Wave Georgia. So we double SNAP, which is Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program at the market, formerly known as Food Stamp Benefits. So if a food stamp beneficiary comes to the market, we'll swipe their card just like it's a credit or debit card. And let's say they want to use $50 of their benefits, we'll give them $100 in these wooden tokens to use at the market. And um, the idea is to make good food affordable for everyone and uh, channel those federal dollars into the local economy and back into the pockets of small farmers. So right now the farm bill is under review in the um, House and the Senate and the House wants to cut 40 billion to SNAP benefits and the Senate bill cuts 4 billion to SNAP and this program is so crucial and farmers market incentive programs I think is so crucial to changing people's health outcomes to changing educational attainment um, for children who are not getting the nutrition that they need that if you can reach out to your representative and tell them to um, not cut the SNAP program and support your local farmers market Sundays 930 to 130 Grant Park <laughs>